Oh. Oh. Whoa. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. Home is where the vlog is. We're in the car and there's the Malibu sign. Uh, 21 miles of scenic beauty. Well, here, let me give you the, let me give you the camera. Okay. So I can get driving. Yep, and, so uh, we're gonna start here, by the way. Let's, let's just tell you this. What we're gonna do, obviously, you can tell from the title of the video, we are going to drive up the coast on Pacific Coast Highway all through Malibu. Kind of a little update check-in. Uh, we're gonna see if we can do all 21 miles, if possible. We just figured it's Wednesday midweek we don't want to do this on a weekend or anything because well it would just be a madhouse sometimes this is at a dead stop it's it's pretty crazy but we thought it's a beautiful sunny day and what better way to kind of you know instead of seeing the beach you could see the beautiful california coast along our little stretch of our town of the malibu so we're starting off at the sign and away we go so show us point out stuff by the way all right, Spence just, is going to be your tour guide. All right, we're just uh, kind of getting started here. Well, here's the other thing, too, is it used to be 27 miles on that sign. And uh, Katie and I had this debate about it one day because um, I remembered it being 27. And all of a sudden, one day, it was 21. Uh, it was some sort of technicality with incorporation of the city or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but at any rate, <laughs> it's approximately 21 miles. A little scenic beauty, Katie. Uh, well, I remember, like... We were on the phone and I was driving in and you know I had you on my speakerphone and I was like yeah you know come over and as I was you know driving and he was like you know which part of the 27 miles are you and I was like you mean 21 miles yeah she was trying to shame me and clown me about and it. I was like, like no 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 so we're in kind of a residential section in between Topanga and Malibu Pier uh, there's little pockets of uh, scenic views at certain points but mainly it's just a lot of houses and things along here there's moon shadows moon shadows that's like a restaurant patio bar yeah they've got like a club on weekends well they used to uh <laughs> it's weird to say that uh, yeah it's like not anymore that's where uh if you guys remember when mel gibson got into it with law enforcement and uh said the disparaging remarks to the female officer that happened uh Really? Yeah. Wow. Alright, this stretch in here, we're getting closer to the Malibu Pier. This is uh, Carbon Beach, aka Billionaire Beach. This is where a lot of the bigger places are where they had the sometimes rent them out for parties and like corporate parties like full-blown Sharon Osbourne had a house over here yeah this is like where the Lindsay Lohan parties were happening and all that like, oh really yeah and then I think um, part of the hills I think that Kristen had a beach down here or yeah. had a house down here rented and we're starting to get into Malibu now we're starting to get into town. There's Diamore's Pizza. Best pizza ever, right there. Yes. All alone. All alone in that shopping center almost now. Yep. Now that PC Greens is gone. There's a McDonald's. Yes, we love a good McDonald's. We do. There's Nobu and Soho <laughs> House. And then there's Pepe. There he is. Hey, Pepe! Hello, Katie. I hope you're faring well in this pandemic. I am doing better now that you're here, Pepe. I have prepared some tortilla chips and fresh guacamole for you as you drive home. Thank you, Pepe. It is my pleasure. And here is the Malibu Pier. There it is. Woo! It's all closed down. It's so weird to see the gates closed. I know. And then this is the... Surfrider Beach, a.k.a. First Point Malibu. Uh, this is where you saw probably that guy getting... That's where all the surfers yeah, were getting arrested. Arrested for going. And then this right here is the um, historic... Is it Adamson? The Adamson House, yeah. I always want to say Adamson. Adamson House, which is the, the descendant family of May Ringe, who owned all this property back in the day. And... Uh, and then this right here is the like the Malibu kind of village like Cross Creek area. Yeah, so we have a couple stores in there. Gas station, car wash, a lot 
lot of good stuff in there. Blue Bottle and Whole Foods. Whole Foods are down there. This is under construction, it's Habana Animal Hospital. But I love this, is the, the pretty views. Here's our park. But yeah, look at how pretty it is going up this way. It's, it's so scenic. And I think you take it for granted when you, you know, drive this way a lot, but, you know, it's so pretty. I just want to show you the hills back there. So there's some doctor's offices, and that's the view you get when we're going through the canyon, is we have to go up through there. Basically, we go around and up that way, and then through, over the river and through the woods to the valley we go and right here we're coming up the hill you'll see uh, Pepperdine on the right coming up we're going like right into the Sun aren't we what we should do is wake up early one morning and do a, a Pepperdine drive-by to see if the deer are down feeding on the they usually yeah like that'd be fun grass. yeah as I've seen them when I've come down here really early too but I have, it's usually and it's about this time of year like springish you know? Yeah. This is Pepperdine. What a beautiful green field that they put the flags up. It's so pretty during like, you know, 9-11 and Memorial Day. Over here is like literally Point Doom. Like there's some uh, shopping centers in here. Yeah, a little Point Doom village. They actually have a Dia Mores over here. Another, D a second Dia Mores. Malibu loves Dia Mores pizza. Uh, these are my favorite little dinosaurs. I always pretend I'm on the train at Disneyland. Hello, dinosaurs. Hi, Carter. Oh, there's a little organic farm shop in here. Sometimes I've got produce in there. You can barely see it, but they're actually open right now. And there's the little Point Doom Village. That's where I said there's another Dia Mores is up there. And here's where we're coming down to is like Zuma Beach. The other which, side of Point Doom, yeah. Yeah, we're on the other side of it. And um, there's a lot of uh, beach like places to go at Zuma. It's pretty big. It's a lot like of beach frontage. Beach frontage. That's the word yeah. I'm thinking of. Now there's also this like sunset cafe that I recommend hitting up. A lot of people ask like, where are some places you like to go? And I say if you want to have like really good like beachside dining that just looks pretty and is is really like delicious food, um, go down that way. Down that road. Zuma Down that beach. road, and it says there it is the Sunset Restaurant, Beach, and Bar. I don't know if they're open during this pandemic, but I, I would know. think they are for takeout. They have a lot of weddings there. That's where, if you ever see pictures on Instagram of people like on the sand taking wedding photos or something, it's usually there. Yeah. Because the restaurant provides uh, that for people. That service. Yeah. And it's, re I mean, it's really pretty. Like, I'll show you kind of when we get there. Um, what the view is because like I said if you turn down that way it'll take you basically down on this side of Zuma Beach um, kind of like westward right Smith? yeah westward is that way westward is, is that this way is Zuma proper. this, this is, is literally the yeah. entrance to Zuma Beach right there so basically that's kind of your view it's really pretty and I, I do like this better than the Orange County beaches because in Huntington, it's like so far, far, I don't know if that makes sense. It's a long walk to the water, I feel like. And the, a big, big parking lot. This is a very small parking lot, but it's very flat out here. You can usually always see dolphins. Yeah. I mean, almost always you see dolphins out, out at Zuma Beach. And now this is Trancus, the end of Zuma. Yeah. It's known as Trancus Beach. Yep. Right here. And yeah. I love this Trancus area. Um, right over here, you'll see coming up on our right, this is like vintage grocers. And up, back up there, if you go whoop, all the way there, there's a beautiful park, Trancus Park. You have to kind of go up and then down, and then the, your view is basically all these beautiful hills. This is where like a lot of the celebrities you live. This is a like, I mean, cause look at these houses up back in there. They are so hidden away and tucked back in there. You ain't getting back there. And there's a lot of bluff property out here. That, oh, so much. It has a lot of land around it. Yeah, it's like, you will never find them. Their compounds are, I'm gonna try and see if I can show you just the, if you can kind of see, you can kind of tell. This is where the Malibu Barbie house was. Oh yeah, it was. You can find oh. it. I'll show you where it is. Yeah. So here's here's Leo Creole State Beach. There it is. Also, 
also known as Seikos. Great surf spot. Point break, the fight scene at the bathrooms was right here. There it is. Where they broke his surfboard. I love this beach. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's about, we, oh my gosh, we need to go here more often. Yeah. All right, we're coming up to County Line Beach. That was 20 LA miles. County Line, popular surf spot. Right that was here. 21 miles, man. Yeah. We did it. Okay, so there is some dolphins or whales out there. There they are. I think it's a dolphin. It feels dolphin-like to me. Oh yeah, Whoa. wow, he jumped. Catch that? Yeah. Amazing. That was beautiful. This is where they come every day. Yeah. They come by the, the house. That was so cool. He literally like jumped. That was beautiful. That's for you, Liz. Whoa. She loves the dolphin. Oh! Whoa! Please tell me you got that. I think I did. He was, oh Whoa! my gosh. They are so airborne. Whoa! Dude, okay. I need to zoom out because there's so many. I was yeah, trying like, to zoom in. Yeah, some serious air. Maybe we should go further up, but. Nope, this is good. I'm happy where we're at. Wow. They are launching. <laughs> I've never seen a dolphin jump. Wow! wow. Oh my gosh. You're getting all those, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. They're doing a show for everybody. They are. Oh, dolphins are just so amazing. They are. They're coming this way. I think so. Yep, I'm gonna they are. zoom out. They're coming this way. They are. Oh boy, we're in for a show. I'm trying to zoom up on some of them right now. to think out in that beautiful ocean like what are they doing like what are they thinking they're just out there in their own world that doesn't have a virus pandemic they're just you know this is a beautiful thing for earth day you know what i mean like how is it on earth day we got the most beautiful show of dolphins jumping out of the water you know what i mean yeah they knew they had to there's some everywhere. Pull out all the stops today. They did. I'm going to zoom out. It's like, happy Earth Day, everyone. Here is Here they are. beautiful dolphins. They're right next to us now. Yep. Wow. Look at that. They're big. Yeah, they are. They're big dolphins. Look at that. They're all over. Oh, wow. That was so beautiful to see. There they are. Oh I think we're gonna get gosh. some jumping here in a second. I think so too. I feel I feel jumping happening. Those are those those feisty ones there. Yeah. The playful. Yeah. Whoops. Hello, Mr. Siegel. He's like, I look cool too. <laughs> Yep, this is a big pod. Very big. Wow. That is stunning to see. Look at out there, there's more. Wow, big group right there. Really big. So we're just sitting in our car on the side of the road looking at dolphins on Earth Day. I see some little guys too. Yeah. We saw 
them jump like that, wow, that is a lot. Yeah, oh, they all came up at once there. Okay, so we're gonna keep the drive going, but we are going to head over to Neptune's Net and go place an order. I already called to check, and they said that they are in fact doing um, to-go orders. So we're gonna go and do that now, and let's enjoy the drive. up to Neptunes. Gotta go through the side because the front's all closed up, but fish tacos, they look pretty good. We ordered um, fish tacos, fish and chips, and then a little bit of uh, grilled um, uh, shrimp too, but we just figured we wanted each one taco, but it comes with three. It's all right, I can eat two. <laughs> you sure can. I used to say no eating in my car and we've broken all these rules. Mm-hmm, oh my goodness. That is the most incredible fish taco I've ever had. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Neptune's net. This is the best fish taco I've ever had. Spencer's okay. going in. Look at that taking slaw, a drink. Huh? I know. There's like pineapple. Um, yeah. Wow, it is good. It's so good, huh? Mm hmm I could eat like five of those. Good thing we got more food because wow. Alright, on to the scrimps. Yes. The shrimp is so good. Is it good? Mm. Look at the size of those shrimp. You dipped it for me? I did. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Dude, this fish is a fish and chips. and chips. Look at that. Slabs. Oh my gosh. Those are like literally fish, like slices of fish. Let's try it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is the best. Most flaky, delicious fish I've ever had. Oh yeah. Right? Like, is that not the best fish you've ever had? And the the batter is like just crispy, like panko. And that's not even dipped in anything. That's really good. Way to go, Neptunes. All right, there it is. Goodbye, Neptunes Net Beach. Look how pretty. There is the Grease Beach right there. Opening scene that they had, uh, Summer Lovin' was right there. Hope you enjoyed this little tour around our town and just up the coast. I think it's beautiful. It was a perfect thing for Earth Day. If you like this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you know when we go live and when we drop new videos. We're about to go live. We are, what's happening Wednesday today? Hope you watched it. 
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to support Best Life and Beyond, you can become a Patreon member. I'll put all that information in the description box right there below. That's right. We'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.